Hello, this is Joshua with Boot Fix and Shoe Fix Glue again. There we go. All right, doing this on my, my uh, mobile phone again, so this should be fun. A little difficult to <laughs> look down. Anyway, so today we have a couple pairs of boat shoes. We got one pair of men's. I believe these are women's. I'm not 100% sure. They are small enough that they could be children's. Uh, you can see our professional repair tickets in there, the secondary ticket, and of course the official ticket. So what is going on with these today is the toe is coming loose. This is a very, very common repair, one that we do all the time, and we're just going to do it real quick with boot fix. Now, again, uh, I am at work, so I'm going to use that to my advantage. I'm going to have two, three, four of these things. Why four? So that I can do a single pair at a time. Alrighty. So. Here's what we're going to do. First things first, unscrew the cap, and we're going to hold it up to our ear and squeeze it toward our ear gently, not real hard, not you know to the ear or anything. Okay, so you're going to want to just squeeze it a little bit, make sure air is moving in and out of it, make sure it's clear so that you know that you can use the glue. Okay, now we're going to peel this back, and you're going to want to apply the glue to the sole. Okay. Now the wear line, the wear line is where you can see where it connected directly to the shoe, right in there. Let's see if we can get this, the camera to breathe. There it goes. Ish, ish. Come on now. Okay, there we go. So you can see where the wear line is. That's where it connected to the shoe. And we're going to put glue right around the edge. You can see it going in there. Okay, and then squiggle on the inside. Now this stuff is super simple. It's easier than our original formula because literally all you're going to do is press down and hold it. So you're going to use a clamp and you're going to hold it just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to set this off to the side and do the other one. And there's the other one. Same exact problem on all of them. Uh, this one we're going to need to use a couple more clamps so we'll do this one after. For the women's, we're going to use shoe fix. Again, that one's going to need more clamps. There we go. There we go. All right, so for shoe fix, again, make sure air is moving in and out of it. I can feel the air moving, so that's good. Okay. All right, and exact same thing is what we're going to do here. We're going to apply that bead directly where it needs it most and then squiggle on the inside. And exact same thing, press down. Whoop, looks like we got a little bit of, not sure if you can see it, but we got a little bit of stuff squeezed out of there. So we're gonna use the paper towel that we have to the side. That I forgot to mention because I'm at work and everything's already here and set up, which is wonderful. There we go. And then we're gonna use the clamp. Oop, a little bit further back. There we go. You want to have the clamp far enough forward so that it actually hits where you want it to hit and far enough back so that the whole thing is held. And we're just going to leave that for a few minutes. Now, as I said in a previous video, um, the new formula takes longer to dry, but that is okay. Um, it just takes a couple more minutes. just means you got to clamp it and leave it for a few minutes rather than just, you know, squeeze, um, clamp, squeeze, or clamp, spray, squeeze, and go. So but it's amazing stuff. This new formula, as I said in the other video, is not only does it dry um, stronger, but it also dries uh, more flexible. So that flexibility is what we really need in shoes because without that flexibility, we kind of lose everything that we need from glue for shoes. I'm stumbling over myself. Okay, let's check that first shoe again. Let's see how it's doing. Looks pretty good, nothing squeezing out or anything. Oops. So that's good. All right, let's unclamp it. And there we go. So I missed a little bit of glue on the edge there, which will get redone. But the rest of it, completely good to go. All right. Now, boot fix glue and shoe fix glue are basically interchangeable. Um, there's no major difference between the two adhesives. Um, when it says it's designed for shoes, 
that just means that it can the the formula is very 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 slightly more viscous so it gets into tighter spaces easier for shoe fix glue than it does for boot fix glue boot fix glue is designed to be I guess slightly more rugged um, meant for boots and work footwear and that kind of thing Ooh, it's a staple okay so uh, but uh, but there's no major difference they are pretty much interchangeable for every kind of footwear I wish you could see more of my hands and they look like sausage fingers Better, 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 better. Okay, so, yes. Alright, and the second one should be ready. Oop, oh, got a customer. And that one's good. Oop, there we go. A little extra squeezed out. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go help my customer and I'll be right back to do the other two.